Hello, today I would like to talk a little bit about the Arm Italy LA145 VHF linear amplifier. It's a relatively small compact unit that's specifically designed for use with portable or handheld radios. It covers a frequency range of 135 to 175 MHz including the 2 meter amateur band. It features output power level of up to 85 watts at a maximum input power level of 4 watts. The peak current consumption is about 13.5 amps according to the specs. Let's have a quick look at the unit itself. Here on the front plate we have an LED indicating the power status, we have the power switch and we have the FM SSB mode switch. Since this amplifier does not have an external PTT interface, there is an HF box inside that detects automatically if an HF signal is present at the input terminal. If an in input signal is detected, the amplifier will switch from receive to transmit mode. With FM, where you have continuous carrier or other signal types with continuous carrier, that's not really a problem because you have signal all the time, so the, as long as you keep the PTD press, pressed, the amplifier will be in transmit mode. With SSB, however, since SSB only has uh, an output signal when there's actually modulation going on, the amplifier would switch all the time between receive and transmit mode. Switching to SSB mode will add a little delay before switching back to receive mode. So when you have uh, pauses in your speech, for example, that are not too long, I'm not entirely sure how long, maybe half a second, um, it will not switch back to um, receive mode. So when you're using SSB, you should definitely switch to uh, the SSB mode here to keep the relays from not clicking so much. Uh, and also an issue occurs uh, since it only switches when it detects an HF signal. So when you speak into the microphone it takes a little bit of time to switch to the uh, transmit mode. So the beginning of your transmission might get chopped. Um, that's uh, uh, also something you need to uh, think of. So. SSB, switch to SSB mode. If you have continuous carrier, you can stay in FM mode. On the back side, we have the power connection, which is a really yeah, rather short cable. I added some power poles at the end. Uh, by, by default, out of the box, it comes with open, open leads. And we have two PL. Uh, sockets for connecting your transceiver and the antenna. Uh, as I said, there is no interface for an external PTT. Uh, also note, the entire amplifier is passively cooled, so there is no active cooling, no fan, nothing. Um, so you also need to take care of uh, the temperature. Don't transmit for extended periods of time. Let the device cool down between transmissions. It, as far as I know, it does not have temperature protection uh, or thermal protection uh, circuitry inside. So uh, overheating could actually damage the amplifier. Speaking of protective uh, circuits, um, we also don't have uh, input power limiter, so if you apply more than the maximum input power of uh, 4 watts it could actually damage the amplifier and uh, a high SWR could also damage the amplifier, so uh, it's really really basic um, connect your radio, connect your antenna, do all the testing uh, with the um, Amplifier turned off, measure the SWR. If everything's okay, turn on the amplifier and uh, measure the SWR again and uh, keep an eye on the temperature. Um, they supply a really short manual, which is just like uh, this small double sided sheet uh, with some instructions how to wire everything and the um, 
uh, yeah, technical specifications. As I said, uh, the uh, power draw is something I observed. If you, um, uh, I, I tested it to about 60 watts, and it was about 10 amps. And um, it's not in, in my setup. I didn't. I couldn't really reproduce the chart they printed here. So. Um, th if you look at the green the green line which is the 145 megahertz they say beginning from 1 watt uh, you are around the 60 watt level uh, I tested it with an FT818 uh, that has 1 one watt output power level at one watt output power level into a 50 ohm uh, dummy load and an actual antenna and on one watt it was more about like um, 30 to 40 watts and on 2.5 watts which is the next higher power level on the FT818 it was around 60 watts so um, I'm not entirely sure uh, how they measured this uh, I as I said cannot really reproduce that um, uh, results and I measured also the power level of my uh, control radio so uh, it was giving out 1 and 2.5 watts so um, but overall it's a really really nice um, amplifier uh, the power draw is not so bad that you couldn't use it with a small um, lead acid battery uh, for portable use, so you can uh, hook up your uh, handheld HF, uh, sorry, VHF radio, and uh, use it in a more uh, powerful way. Or as an addition to your base station, if you want to use your um, handheld from home and uh, you want a little bit more output power, that's also an option. Um, yeah. Other than that. It's neat little unit. I didn't find a lot of information about it on the internet, especially uh, not many videos showing the device itself. So I thought about recording one and uh, if you like it, please let me know. Leave a comment if you have questions about it. I can also show you quickly the uh, downside, uh, bottom side, sorry. So you have here the uh, receiver, trans uh, the transceiver connection and here the antenna connection, the warranty void label if you open the case and a note about uh, you should stick to the legal uh, regulations in your country before using this. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.